Greetings, and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc., and today I'll be demonstrating how to create payment method integrations and payment terms using Oro Commerce. In Oro Commerce, payment terms are a set of conditions required for a sale to be completed. This, for example, could be net terms, which is the period of time allowed for a customer to pay off the amount due. For example, it could be net 10, 20 or 30 days and would mean the payment is due within those amount of days after the item is purchased. Other payment terms might include cash advance, cash on delivery, checks, credit cards, money orders, or authorized payment apps such as PayPal. Payment terms can be configured per customer, allowing them to use the payment conditions guaranteed by their contract with the seller. Default payment terms can be configured for customer groups as well as individually for customers. In this demonstration, we'll show you how to enable payment terms as an integration, create the payment terms, and then link the payment terms to a customer. In our next tutorial, we'll demonstrate creating payment roles to assign a customer to payment options available to them at checkout. In order to enable different payment terms, new integration records should be added. Out of the box, Oro Commerce supports check and money order and PayPal systems. For more information on payment integrations, please see the information in the Oro Commerce documentation library. For our example, we'll create a payment term for cash on delivery and payment options for money orders, personal checks, and net terms. You must have at least one payment term in order to allow users to enter checkout. Without a payment term available, the buyer may receive an error message and may need to physically contact the seller to complete the purchase. You can create as many new integrations as are required for each payment term to be available for customers on checkout. Next, we'll need to create payment rules to bind specific customers to payment terms. To enable payment as an integration, navigate to the main system menu and use the drop-down to select Integrations and then Manage Integrations. Click the Create Integration button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. For our first example, use the drop-down to select Payment Terms as a type of integration. In the Name field, type the payment method name that is to be shown as an option for the payment configuration in the Oro Commerce Management Console. For our example, we'll use Cash on Delivery. In the Label field, enter the payment method label that is to be shown as a payment option for the buyer in the Oro Commerce storefront during checkout. For our example, we'll use COD. In the short label field, add the payment method name that is to be shown on the order details in the Oro Commerce Management Console and Front Store after the order is submitted. By default, the status is set to active, but you can use the drop-down to change this if necessary. By default, the owner is pre-populated with the user creating the integration, but you can change this value to another user. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Next, we'll repeat the process to set up a payment method for money orders. Click the Create Integrations button. Use the drop-down to select Check or Money Order. Create a name, label, and short label as previously described. In the Pay To and Send To field, add the name and address of where to send the check or money order. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll repeat the process in order to give an option for personal checks. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button. For our final payment method integration example, we'll create an option for net terms. For the final piece of this demonstration, when using payment terms as an integration, you have the option of notating specific terms and then assigning it to a customer or a customer group so that information displays to the customer during checkout. To create a customer's payment term, navigate to the Sales menu and use the drop-down to select Payment Terms. The Payment Term Grid displays. For our example, we'll create a label for Net90. When a customer selects net terms as their payment option, this message will display showing they have 90 days to pay the invoice related to this order. Click the Create Payment Term button. Add your payment term. Click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll assign this specific payment term to a customer. 
Navigate to the Customer menu and use the drop-down to select Customers. Hover over the ellipse to the far right of the record and use the Available Options to edit the record. To set a payment term for this customer, click on the Additional link. Use the drop-down to select Net90. And click the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll return to the storefront. If the customer selects net terms as their payment option, they'll also see information of net 90, which gives the customer 90 days to complete the purchase. In our next video, we'll demonstrate creating payment rules for these payment method integrations so that they're available for customers during checkout. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocommerce.com/media-library.